welcome to another satanic bullshit raising hell edition of Hillbilly DVD reviews. Today we're reviewing the Blu-ray of Clive Barker's Hellraiser. Clive Barker's Hellraiser. First Hellraiser, it's all about this guy named Frank and Frank. this little puzzle box bullshit he finds called a Lament Configuration. And what it does is it opens doorways to fucking crazy other worlds. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's kind of like Pandora's box, man. I mean, like, like, you like you'll get what you want. But you're gonna pay for it. You exactly. Know, this motherfucker gets what he wants, and then all of a sudden, fucking a bunch of hooks come out of the ground. Fucking pinhead comes, rips this motherfucker. Rip his flesh off. He's, He's dead. He's dead. 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 This motherfucker's shit. dead. He is dead as fuck. So then we fast forward to Frank's brother. Is a good guy. He's a family man. Yeah, man. You know, decent, solid He's, dude. He's got a hot young daughter. Yeah. He's got. He's got a fucking slutty ass. Fucking. I don't so, know why he's even with the slut. So slutty. So but like, slutty. Like she had a relationship with Frank before. I think yeah. It was. It's a, it's his second wife, I believe she is. Yeah, but then okay. she fucked Frank. So like, what happens is some bullshit happens, and uh, they move into this house, and like. I, they can say it's in whatever city it is, but you can tell some English bullshit. Even yeah, though it tries yeah, I mean, not to be. They've been trying to hire make, some English actors to yeah. make it all Americanized, but it's a fucking cloud bar. Like, basically, some guys cool. come over, and this house is all dirty. Yeah. It's got maggots all over it's in it. Cool. They got to yeah. clean it up. Some guys come over, deliver a mattress, and they're fucking just drooling over this fucking slutty fucking second wife. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah man. Things everybody in fucking the city. It's insane. Because this is the place where uh, Frank got ripped apart, I guess. Like what happens is this guy, Frank's brother, he he he's like hanging some picture bullshit, fixing some window bullshit. He cuts himself, it drips in the floorboard, floor. Floor. it drops into some shit. There's like all of a sudden there's like some almost like a skeleton fetus crawling yeah, around. Yeah, like like, like 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 Frank almost comes back to life. He like starts to form, you know. Yeah, but blood, it's it but it's really the... just like some little pod bullshit. Yeah, yeah, but but like, when, but like when the slut comes in the room and finds it, she like knows it's Frank. Yeah, she gets all horny and wet. Yeah, and like and like basically what happens? He's like a weak skeleton. Motherfucker, he's like, he's like, he's like, bring somebody here to fuck them, and we'll kill them, and I'll drink their blood. Yeah, yeah, it's like so, a fucking. So, so that's what she does, man. Yeah, like, she she starts bringing all these fuckers uh, back to fuck them in the dirty uh, attic. Uh, 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 uh. And then next next thing you know, they ain't getting pussy. They're just getting all cut up. And she finds dorky motherfuckers too in business suits and shit. Yeah, man. All, I mean, I mean, they get what they deserve. They're coming in a fucking yeah. businessman's and, house. And, 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 and by the way, you gotta understand, this is 1987. This woman is not hot. They they play her up to be the hot woman, or whatever. But she just got she's some middle per, age, permed out you know, bullshit. And, you know, and, and that's why she has to pick up nerds because she ain't really that fucking hot. She, she knows she ain't gonna get any quality guys. The fuck you know, no, man. Spread them legs so basically, then he's a skeleton mummy looking fucker. And he's all bloody and shit, but he needs some skin. Yeah. And he can't grow the skin. I don't know why, but he can't grow no goddamn skin. The only thing he can't get back. He's, he's got his lungs yeah. and muscles. My, 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 and my motherfucker and even wears orange. a business suit, but he gets it all bloody because he's yeah, all bloody. Yeah. Kind of skin. It's, it's, and he's in the attic looking like a bloody, and, a bloody and, scale yeah, to yeah, smoke yeah, a cigarette. <laughs> And by the way, we, we, we've been discussing this plot for yeah. so long, we ain't mentioned Penhead once. You know why? Because he's not, not in part it. of the story, Fuck man. It's Penhead. irrelevant, yeah. Spoiler, spoiler. They decide the plan is that they gotta kill Frank's brother, cut his skin off, and then put it on this motherfucker's yeah. little bloody body. And you know, you know, I mean, this motherfucker looks like the the bodies in Predator after the Predator skin. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah, mean, this dude, shit it's, is it's, crazy. It's, it's, Daughter comes home, figures out what's going on. There's a big chase. We won't ruin it, whatever. Yeah, but but, but the box but, is back, and she but, finds out some shit. Yeah, so. the point is, is they're doing some evil shit. So the Cenobites. Led by Pinhead right here. Finally, we talk about Pinhead. Yeah, right? Pinhead. Now, finally, he comes out. Like, they, like that's another thing too. Is, is they put it on the box, the front of the box, Pinhead. Back of the box, Pinhead. They might as well just call it Clive Barker's Pinhead. Yeah, Pinhead. But he's not in the movie, I motherfucker. Even call him Pinhead, man. I mean, yeah. Uh, by the way, Pinhead ain't even his name. <laughs> and, and, and correct me if I'm wrong. He wasn't even the leader of the Cinnabots, or maybe he was. I don't know. There was like other. Like Cinemites I mean, he. Shit. Well, there was a bunch of them. I mean, I mean, he might I don't like know. Lead but he's not. Or... He's not like barking orders and shit. Yeah. Spoiler, spoiler, you know, but not really, because, you know, Frank gets his comeuppance, and the only reason we got to talk about this is the fucking, one of the best scenes in any movie either. Yeah. They got Frank again, they say, you fuck, you try to cheat death twice yeah, and all yeah, that shit. Yeah, they get them all on the hooks again, they're about to rip them apart, and Pinhead, he doesn't really say this, but he, it's almost like the moment where Pinhead's like, see you, fuck, see we got you again, you ain't getting away with it, yeah. and fucking so hardcore. What does Frank fucking say? He looks at the motherfuckers right before he gets ripped apart again, and he says, Jesus, Jesus wept. wept. 
and fuck, and Amazing, then fuck, and fucking like a shower of blood and shit Damn, happens man, after you that. Don't talk about true horror. This is true horror. Clive Barker is the master of fucking horror awesome movies. for a horror movie. Because most horror movies about some motherfucker chasing somebody with a knife, whatever. You know, it's fun, but it ain't that original. But this one is original, motherfuckers. So on a horror movie level, I gotta give this 10, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10, hells yes. Oh my gosh, so good. So By the way, just a side note, this is the original Blu-ray released by Anchor Bay. Uh, I think it's going to go out of print. Image is going to release uh -oh. another one. So I'm, I'm not here to tell you which version is better because that other, you know, the other one actually ain't even out yet. Whatever. It's going to be shitty though. But, but, but this one, it probably will be. But this one, besides having a fucking holographic fucking glow in the dark it's whatever cool cover shit, look at that shit it's, shit. it's, it's like it's, it's like one of those little fucking marvel comic card man yeah it's you know, fucking you, awesome man hologram. it's cool to look it's at. awesome anyway this one it look i mean it's some grainy bullshit but that's the point it looks just like a movie from yeah, 1987 man, it's like exactly film, and it's, it's like a film. yeah it's, it's how fucking it's to look man dude no digital video back then dude and they didn't fuck with it they didn't try to make it look all shiny and bullshit i love it i love the way it worked you know and the fucking sound it's got some awesome fucking surround sound on it yeah yeah I mean, I mean, look, if you got your Dolby True high HD, TV, how does this? Oh, you're this gonna is the love version it. to get. This is the version better to get. than your VHS, oh, better than your DVD. Yeah. Oh, this is yeah. this is the shit to get. I will really on a presentation, I'm gonna give it nine out of ten. Oh man, I'll match that shit. That is definitely selling on. Goodness gracious, it was special features. Check out this whole little bullshit right here. See all this? All special features. Mr. Cotton, I presume, interview with Andrew Robinson, interview with Ashley Lawrence, composer, Hellraiser Resurrection, some bullshit. Doug Bradley, who plays Pinhead on Hellraiser. Yeah. Audio commentary, Clyde Barker. Man, you can't get Clyde Barker to do shit now. He's retired. He, he just make movies. He just paints paintings and shit yeah, now. Man, he's living on FU money for movies. Exactly. Like this, well, they got him on this, man. Yeah. Trailers, TV spots, behind the scenes, galleries, posters, advertising. Dude, what the fuck I, else I mean, did you I, want? I said it before, I'll say it again. That much special features legitimizes a small movie that most pe most people have forgotten about. Exactly. It's like almost a Call whole new classic. movie. Cult classic. That yeah. All these special features right. show that no this movie certain. will live forever. So I'm going to have to give it 10 out of 10. Absolutely. 10 over here for me. The greatest original horror movies of all time. It is. It's Check an all-time it great classic. And I hope motherfuckers don't ever remake it because I don't want to see some oh. cheesy PG-13 Unf bullshit. Unfortunately, they will. I mean, I don't want to be negative, but, you know. You know them fuckers Michael will. Bay studio is going to make that shit in a couple years. But you know what? Fuck that. You don't need that shit. Get the original. Get the real deal. Hellraiser. Let's, let's, let's go, go get hell. Let's get fucked up.